Tell your friends! Tell your friends about Hooks and Ladders, but also about songstudio.ca. You can get all kinds of information about songwriting, tips and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, like, follow and subscribe. That's what we need, that's what you need. I'm uh, like I have a side band project called the Delphi's and that's still that's very much the spirit with like my own stuff now we do like rehearse you know I'm just at a different You're point, at a different in, point. In my, yeah. you yeah. know in, in, in what I want to do depending on the song and stuff like that um, but back then it was just anything goes and my yeah. records were like that too my early records were really just documents of the moment of that moment yeah. and yeah. and now i mean i still like doing it as live as possible in the studio but but we work more on on the arrangements now it's just a growing thing right yeah, you know yeah. and um yeah. so where are you at in terms of you know you said you're at a different point than the than the delphi's um yeah. you know where are you at your you know i've mentioned before that you're touring europe pretty regularly yeah and getting great reviews there and making a dent, do you feel? Do you feel you're making a dent? Yeah. And how do yeah, you how do you get to tour cool. Europe? How does that happen? How did you get to that point? Well, uh, you know, uh, drive is is so big in this. You know, determination and yeah. and uh, I had a few false starts of trying to book book tours or try to get you know people interested. And, uh, yeah, I, you know, it just, I could never get it together. I could never get like enough dates together, enough interest. And I don't know, there's just one day I was actually, uh, we were driving back from Montreal playing a show there and, and, uh, you know, I remember the show was okay. You know, it, it wasn't like it was, but, but it, 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 I guess it felt frustrating enough that it wasn't, you know, Good uh, thinking. It had me thinking that, you know, I really, I really want to get over there. Yeah. You know, there has to be more to this. And, yeah. and I just said to, to Dan, my bass player, I was like, um, this was like September, like 2017. I just said like, you know, I'm, I'm doing it this time. Yeah. And I just, it took years off my life. And, you know, six months later we were in Europe. The whole band. Yeah. Yeah. That's and, amazing. You know, uh, and I just booked it all myself. I just, you know, I did so many emails and so many, you know, connections. I mean, up to that point, um, I had a little more behind me because I I uh, put out like a couple records with Mike Timmons and Cowboy Junkies label. And, and, uh, and he mentioned, you know, well, if you're really serious about doing this, like the label has like distribution deals and they had a distribution deal with this label over there called proper music. And so I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And then, so my album at that time ended up being re-released over there and started getting like great reviews. And, and, uh, uh, yeah, there's a guy at, at the, uh, the Rolling Stone, the German one, the Rolling Stone Germany. He really latched onto that record. And then all of a sudden, I'm, like, I got this like feature in the magazine, and that really helped a lot. And that helped kind of connect the dots with other things. And we went over there, and it was really, it's just amazing. We, you don't know who's listening. Because we were playing shows and it wasn't like a lot of people coming up to me, but there would be, you know, a couple of people coming up to me like, well, like we've been waiting for years, you know, for you to come over. And I remember we played like at a, a place close to Dublin and this guy like came up with like a few CDs that were falling apart, you know, like the cardboard cases right, for me to played. sign. And it's like, how long have you had this, you know? So, it, but it made me feel like, you know, yeah, there's, you can do we got to keep doing it. And, yeah, and, yeah. uh, and that led to, um, you know, a couple of really cool festivals and that led to getting an agent there for a few years. I mean, I'm actually back to booking it myself, which, you know, it's more work, but I just did like a, uh, this past April, May, I had a, a really 
successful solo tour there and um and we're going back in the fall with a new record and stuff so it's just yeah really that happened because i i just put the work into you it. decided I just, yeah i just you know i've always been that way i haven't had a lot of support from the industry and and i mean that could coincide with my social anxiety and not you know like networking is really important it's also everyone has their strengths right yeah. and for me i just felt like this whole time that i've been doing it that i feel i love what i do and you know for the most part i feel like i'm pretty good at it and and i'm willing to put the work in in right. trying to get it out to people the way i want to present it so. right right I, I want to uh, touch on a couple of things you said, and then I'd love it if you play the song. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, what, what, the thing you said about the drive, about drive, having drive. Uh, our drummer tonight, David Steinberg, is a music business lawyer, but he's a musician first and foremost. And uh, But his clients, uh, uh, his main clients are Rush, but also Randy Bachman and a few other notable uh, people. And um, he said to me recently, he calls me Bear. He said, Bear... We could never have made it. He was in the Jitters, uh, David and I, and he was in a bunch of other well-known bands. But he said, we could never have done it. He said, we didn't have that thing, that thing. He's pointing to his eyes, you know, and, and I said, what are you talking about? And he said, sitting across a desk from Randy Bachman, who I, I don't know, 78 years old or something like that, he said, he still got it from when he was a teenager. He still has this drive. He's saying, okay, we really need to get that song into that soundtrack. And, and David's like, yeah, that's not going to happen, or for whatever reason, you know. And he's like, okay, and he moves right on to the next subject. Well, then what we've got to do is we've got to get so-and-so to record this or that and so forth. He's still driving along. He doesn't need to. He could retire. He could go fishing. But he's got that drive, and he said the guys in Rush are the same way. It's that drive. Yeah. Right? Well, and my dad, uh, I mean, he's he's uh, retired now. I, I don't know if you, you know, that's probably not the word for it. But uh, he was always a workaholic. Like, not in a, like, not there for his family kind of way, but right. just with his spare time, you know, always he doing. always, and I think I kind of got that right. from him, Good. that, yeah. you know, I I, I I just like being busy and I like working on right. stuff, um, but I'm also very, uh, I like, which is, uh, you know, there's the pros and cons. I, I also like doing things my way. And, right, okay. You know, uh, I, like yeah. I, I have a lot of integrity with my music, yeah. which, which is, you know... Uh, can be problematic. Which can be... <laughs> yeah. But, but, I, but I'm also very proud of all the records I've put out, and I wouldn't change anything about them. Um, and, you know, especially as life goes on... It, it's like I'm just really about the experiences and and you know I never got into it for the money uh I'm not I wouldn't put anybody down for that it's just like writing a song some people sit down and write a song and they have the business in their mind when they're writing where it's it. going to go where it's going to go yeah. or if they're going to you know if they're writing it with somebody and that's the intention yeah. I mean and that's and that's totally fine I mean I mean, there's so many older songs that I love that were, that's why they were written. Yeah. Uh, but for me, I've never written a song thinking about that. It's always been like a, like a self-fulfilling thing, you know? Yeah. Um, and, and I'm just, I've been like that with my, my whole career so far where I, I just, you know, I never had money, so I don't really know what it, <laughs> what, you don't really what miss it, what it. it really yeah i just i just love i love writing and i love playing and i love performing and you know the business side is is a necessity especially when i realized oh wait i could i could try to do this as, yeah, as right. a career for and, real yeah and i was thinking about you know i was thinking about you and and your career like you know, it's pretty crazy. Like, you know, you guys were signed to, you know, a major label and had success. Like, yeah. you know, that's like a whole world. I I don't know anything about that. Like, it, I don't it, know what that, if, it, and it, you know, maybe I'll feel a part of that or maybe I never will. Like, I, I'll never, the, yeah. I may never know what, yeah. what that world feels like. You know? So we all have our own. Yeah, we all have our own experiences. It's a different world now too. I was thinking, when uh, when I got because you talked about having an agent up until you know fairly recently and now you're doing it yourself, 
when when my band when when my band was signed to that label, which was the Beatles label, by the way, yeah, uh, yeah. Capitol Records, um, we uh, and in England, Parlophone, by the way. Oh, so we were it was actually on Parlophone. On Parlophone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's um, cool. Which was the Beatles label. Um, <laughs> We, uh, uh, during that time and things are going, you know, going swimmingly. And I'm thinking if we ever get dropped, I will, I might as well die. It'll, it'll be over. Like my life will be over. Well, we got dropped in 1991 and I've lived a good deal of life yeah. since then. And it's been fine. So when you said, you know, well, we, I, we did have an, I had an agent for a while. I, I, I went back to that mindset for a thought a second. I thought, oh no, is it over? And then I thought, no, it's just beginning, you know? So yeah. You know? Well, it's like, you know, I did it for so many years before that. So, it, yeah, it's so just, yeah, you know, and, and even with like having an agent, there's still, you know, unless you have a manager, unless you have like a whole team of people doing stuff, it's like, you know, the agent's just securing the dates and you're still doing, you're still doing, a you're still of doing work. all the, <laughs> yeah. like organizing everything yeah. around the tour. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it is an interesting life and, and, um, yeah, I just love, uh, I, I guess also it, it comes with, with time and stuff, but I used to be so impatient and I wanted to see what was around the corner right away, you know, I was right. the kid that looked for his Christmas gifts, but um, but now I'm just like so, ex so like, I just what's, love, what's I just happen? love like, like doing what I do and, yeah. and then, you know, waiting to see what happens, it's pretty cool.